Now for the entire month of August, we've been learning how God created us so that we could be creative. And creativity is imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image. You were created in the image of God because He loves you and you matter to God so much. And today's Bible story takes place a long time ago and it was recorded in the Old Testament, which is the first half of the Bible. And today's story comes from a book called Esther and we're gonna learn about a person named Esther. And Esther's story is a great way of how God can work through us in unexpected ways. And so this story happened about 400 years before the life of Jesus. And during this time period, God's people were living under captivity under this powerful empire called Persia. King Xerxes ruled Persia at the time and he loved to show off his wealth, he loved to show off his fame, and he threw a lot of wild parties. And so there was one party where he invited the queen to come, but then she refused and this angered King Xerxes. And so this is what he did, he actually fired the queen. So now King Xerxes was on a quest to find the next queen, so this is what he did. He gathered all of his officials and he told them to go and to find all all the young and the beautiful women in the land. And then King Xerxes had a contest to pick and to choose the next queen. And this was when Esther comes into the story. You see, Esther was a Jewish girl and she was raised by her cousin, Mordecai because her parents died. And Mordecai pretty much raised her as his own daughter. And the Bible tells us that Esther was a beautiful girl and caught the eye of King Xerxes. And so he put a crown on her head and made her the next queen. Okay, even though Esther was chosen to be the next queen in Persia, um, there was still one big problem, and that is King Xerxes promoted one of his officials named Haman to be the highest ranking official in the entire empire of Persia. Hey man, uh, what did you say his name was again? Hey man. Yeah, um, dude, I don't think you heard my question. What was that guy's name again? Yeah, hey man. What? Okay, I've had enough of this. But his name, but his name was actually Hey man. And this guy was a very bad man. He was pretty much the playground bully at school. Have you guys ever had one of those? Yeah. He wanted everyone to bow down to him, but Mordecai said, no, 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 no. Anyways, you get the point. Mordecai refused to bow down to Haman, and this guy, Haman, so furious and so angry. In fact, because he was so angry, he came up and he devised a plan to kill all the Jews in the land. And then he tricked King Xerxes to actually accept and agree with this plan. And so all the Jews, no matter how old or how young, whether you're a girl or a boy, they were all sentenced to death. Oh, I really hope that this chair doesn't break on me. Now this was a big problem because Esther and Mordecai were both Jewish and so this meant that their lives were both in danger. Mordecai told Esther that she had to go speak to King Xerxes to save the Jews, but that was a lot easier said than done because there was a law that said that no one could speak or talk or even see the king unless they were summoned, even including the queen. Esther knew that it was extremely risky to go and to speak to the king without being summoned. But Mordecai made this profound statement and spoke to Esther at a critical time like this in her life. And this is what he said. What if you don't say anything at this time? Then help for the Jews will come from another place, but you and your family will die. Who knows? It's possible that you became queen for a time just like this. That was exactly what Esther needed to hear. Mordecai challenged her and told her that she was put in a position of leadership and influence as a queen for such a time as this. And Esther knew that he was right. And so Esther told Mordecai to gather all the Jews and to fast and to pray together for three whole days while she prepared to go to the king. Now Esther, was creative and she was patient. She waited for the perfect time to go to speak to King Xerxes. So this is what she did. She held two special feasts and on the second feast, this is what she said to King Xerxes. Then Queen Esther answered, 
Your Majesty, I hope you'll be pleased to let me live. That's what I want. Please spare my people. That's my appeal to you. My people and I have been sold to be destroyed. We've been sold to be killed and wiped out. The king was angry and asked Esther who wanted to kill her and all her people. And it was at that moment when Esther pointed to Haman, that playground bully. And the king Xerxes immediately arrested him and had him executed on that same day. And then King Xerxes passed another law that protected and saved all the Jews in the land. The story of Esther is so powerful and it's so... Hold on. Hey, so really, what was the name of the guy that wanted to kill Esther and Mordecai? Hey man, again, forget it. I don't even know why I even asked. Anyways, so where was I? Um, the story of Esther is so inspiring, so powerful. Esther saw a problem and so she decided to come up with a solution. And so she took action to solve that problem. And so God used her and her position and her influence as a queen to save God's people. So she had a profound and a significant impact on God's people. Now here's something that you should know. God made you for a purpose. Now, you might not be a king or a queen over a vast empire like Esther, but God will put you in a position where you have to take action and to help those around you and to come up with a solution. And so boys and girls, keep your eyes open because there will be opportunities for you to be a part of God's kingdom work. And this is the same thing that God did for you and for me. You see, when God looked down at us, he saw that we had a big problem, and that is a problem of sin. You see, sin is what separated us from God. And so what did God do? God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for us so that our sin, that problem, could be taken away for anyone who believes in Jesus Christ. So kind of like Esther, but even better and greater, Jesus took action and he took away the problem of sin in my life and in your life. And that is the good news of Jesus Christ. And so boys and girls, I want you to remember our bottom line for today, and that is God created you for a purpose. And so with that said, I'll see you in the next video. Pastor Tim out. How did I get here? Oh my gosh, it smells so bad in here. You know why? I forgot. I forgot to do the hand sanitizer. Wow, that was definitely the worst experience of my life. Always wash your hands, guys, okay? And so with that said, Pastor Tim out.